Hunyuan Video is the best free open source video model for realistic style. In this video I will show you how to set up Hunyuan and Comfy UI and what to do to reduce VRAM and speed up video generation. Let's get started. Thanks to the AI community, Hunyuan has a set of tools which allow it to be run in Comfy UI with a reasonable GPU. Hunyuan has native support in Comfy UI, which we use in this tutorial. Click on the corresponding link in the Hunyuan GitHub to see the example in Comfy UI. We will run the tests in a RTX 4090 24GB virtual machine from RunPod. Start Comfy UI and return to the Hunyuan example page. The links to the models are there, but you can download them later directly from the manager in Comfy UI. A JSON file with the Warflow is also available but it is easier to drag the video in the example and drop it over Comfy UI to load it. Before running it, you must first install the models. Go to the manager and click Model Manager. Search for Hanyuan and install the Diffusion model, the VE and the Lava Llama 3 used for clip. You also need to install the Clip L or the Clip VIT large models. Refresh the nodes and make sure that the models are correctly loaded in the Load Diffusion model, Dual Clip Loader, and Load VE nodes. Now you can change the prompt. For this tutorial, we use one that describes a scene of a sports car drifting over a frozen lake. For convenience, we use a Video Combine node. We are going to do several tests and compare what are the maximum VRAM, the sampling time and the video quality. First, we are going to change resolution, number of steps and number of frames. Second, we will use FP8 weights and GGUF models. And third, we will focus on acceleration using fast video, sage attention, torch compile and cache methods. As base case we use the default settings of this workflow. Resolution is 480 pixels with a proportion of 16.9, 73 frames and 8 frames per second. The shift is 7 and flux guidance 6. The sampler is Euler simple, 20 steps. The seed is number 1. When everything is set for the base case, click on Q. The workflow for Hunyuan video starts. A red car racing over the ice with the mountains in the background is made. The sampling time was 3 minutes and the VRAM peak was around 95% of the 24 gigabytes of the GPU. The most important settings that impact VRAM and sampling time are video resolution, number of frames, and number of steps of the sampler. We vary these settings one at a time. With 720 pixels, the generation time increases to almost 11 minutes. Surprisingly, the VRAM peak decreases to 93%. Other resolutions tested did not show any reduction in VRAM. Changing the resolution changes also the composition. In this example, better video quality does not mean a better video. We can try different seeds though, until we get a nice video. By increasing the number of frames the VRAM peak remains at 95%. The sampling time increases to 6 minutes 43 seconds. More frames do not extend the animation, but like before, the composition changes quite a bit. In long sequences the chance to have seen cuts is also higher. Like here, where at about 1.1 seconds the camera position changes, and later there is a small fast forward, which makes the clip uneven. Increasing the number of steps increases the sampling time to 7 minutes 17 seconds. The VRAM peak remains at 95%. With more steps, the level of detail increases, but overall, the composition is more similar than changing the other settings. The RAM requirements can be reduced if we use the FP8 model version. FP8 weights are available in Hug and Face. They are half the size than the BF16 model. You can also use FP8 with the regular model by selecting one of the FP8 options in Weight D Type in the Load Diffusion Model node. We can also use GGUF quantized models. To use them, we will need to install the Comfy UI GGUF custom node pack, which is found in the manager. In the City 96 Hugging Face you can find a complete set of them. 
the smaller the size, the smaller the VRAM. For this test, we will use the Q4 and Q5KM models. You need to download them manually and place the file in the Models Diffusion Models folder in your Comfy UI installation. After you install the node pack in the model, place the GGUFU net loader in the workflow. Select the quantized model and connect to the model sampling SD3 node instead of the load diffusion model. These methods reduce VRAM. FP8 to 71%, Q4 to 54%, and Q5 to 76%. The sampling time is shorter. 2 minutes 35 for FP8 and 2 minutes 47 or 48 for the GGUF models. However, we see that the time reduction does not depend only on VRAM. Both Q4 and Q5 render very similar times but reduce VRAM differently. The video quality does not seem to be affected to a large extent. The composition remains relatively stable, as also shown in other tests. For acceleration there are several options. The first is to use fast video. It is a distillation method, where denoising is done with less steps, hence reducing the sampling time. The model can be used from the fast video hug and face. However, like LCM, it can work as effectively as a LoRa. Download it from Kajai's Hugging Face and install it in the Model LoRa's folder. In Comfy UI, place a LoRa loader model only and connect it between the Load Diffusion model and the Model Sampling SD3 nodes. Select the Fast Video LoRa. Fast Video uses different settings, as shown in their Hugging Face page. Increase the shift to 17. For CFG, we are going to use 9. Only 6 steps are needed. However, in my experience 10 steps are better for higher video quality. With fast video, the VRAM peak does not change, but the sampling time is reduced a lot. To about 1 minute and 6 steps and one minute and a half with 10 steps. The quality with six steps is not great, but it is much better with 10. As you also see, the distillation of the model changes the composition to a certain extent. Another option is to compile the model. There is the native Node Torch compile model that you can use. Other node packs like Kajai's or Wave Speed have Torch compile nodes with enhanced features. The first time that we compile the model, the generation actually takes longer. In following renders, the sampling time is reduced significantly. The VRAM requirements are also slightly reduced. The composition is similar, but not the same. The quality seems to be slightly affected, at least in this test. Sage Attention is another method that runs the sampler faster. The patch Sage Attention KJ node is available in Kajai's custom nodes pack. Just connect it after the load diffusion model node and select auto. Make sure to have installed Sage Attention. In Linux, activate your ComfyWee Venv and then type pip install Sage Attention. With Sage Attention, VRAM remains at 95% but the sampling time is reduced to 2 minutes 15 seconds. Quality and composition remain very similar to the base case. Last, we can look at cache methods. A significant improvement can be obtained with them. One very popular is tcache. There are several node packs that have tcache. Just go to the manager and look for them in the nodes manager. For this example, we will use the Comfy UI Tcache Hunyuan video pack. In Comfy UI, place the Tcache Hunyuan video sampler. Then, reconnect the inputs and outputs from the sampler custom advance to the Tcache Hunyuan video sampler. Do not forget to connect the output to the VE and set the speed up to 2.1x.
Another possibility is to use the first block cache from wave speed. Like the other custom node packs, you can install wave speed with the manager. To use it, add a apply first block cache between the load diffusion model node and model sampling SD3. Use a residual differential threshold of 0 0.1. With first block cache I was running out of memory. So this comparison run it with AL40S instance with 48 gigas of VRAM. Cache methods are very effective reducing the sampling time. With TA cache though, we can do it without increasing much the VRAM. With both methods, the quality and composition are very similar to the video without cache. I hope this was informative. Thanks for watching. Bye.